is Zabina at Cross Keys Crafts. It's December the 22nd, which means I'm using another of my dies from my homemade advent calendar. If you haven't watched the beginning of the series, I put dies in this box that I have never used or only used once, with um, the challenge for myself to use these dies at last. This die here, the little hedgehog, I've already taken it out, um, is one that I bought very recently from Printable Heaven. I'm going to link to it below if it's still available. And yeah, it's just a little hedgehog with a little bow tie. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. It'll probably be a birthday a card, maybe something autumn related, because I find that looks works really nice. I've got some leaf dies. I might do something with them. So I'll have a look what I do. If I need to pop in with a step in between, I shall do that. Otherwise, I will show you my finished card at the end and talk you through of what I've done. See you later. So my card is nearly finished, but I wanted to show you what this hedgehog looks like. First of all, um, because I had the thought to combine him with autumn leaves, I remembered that I cut all these leaves and coloured them months ago. Uh, sometimes I'm looking for a little job I can do behind the bar if it's not too busy. So I did these with my own uh, mica watercolours. I think I showed it in a video how I created those. I'm going to link to that below. If not, I put it briefly in the description. Um, and at first I didn't want to use a dicky bow, but then I decided to uh, cut one anyway. And I came across this tartan paper and I thought that would be really nice, not realising how tiny actually the bow is. So you can see here how small it actually cuts out. So you can't really see the dicky bow, um, sorry, the tartan, pepper, pa tartan pattern on the dicky bow. But because I used it here, I thought this would actually be really, really nice to go with this sort of autumn theme because it makes it really look very cosy. So I added that in the background, but I knew I didn't want it to cover the page. I really wanted this as a big frame and then to tie this in with a white sentiment. I wanted to cut the hedgehog from chocolate brown cardstock, but I didn't have any. So I just cut him from this lighter um, cardstock and I just painted this with my um, alcohol marker. I, for that purpose, I just put it on a piece of paper because what I also like to do is I like to go around the edges so it won't show that it's not actually dark um, cardstock. And then I thought rather than getting my paints out again and creating a piece of cardstock to go behind the thorns there, the spikes, sorry. I just used one of the leaves and I just cut it in half, shaped it a bit to actually fit behind. And for behind the eyes and the mouth, I just put a little piece of um, black scrap that I actually got out of my bin. Sometimes it's worth digging back into my paper basket. So all that's left to do now here is to just stick him on there. I'm going to do that with some foam tape. Only you slightly raise him. Oh, by the way, I try to glue these down with my collal glue. Problem with collage glue is it's lovely if you want to wriggle bits around and move them around, but because I have different heights here, different layers, because I've been uh, layer them all, I had to press quite long to keep them down. So I used my Cosmic Shimmer Quick Grab glue, and that was perfect for it. I just needed to press it down, and it would go over the edges, and would work work well with all the different layers. So it just stuck down really, really nicely. Same here on the latter. Just pressed it down and stayed in place. There is a little wobble, but I don't care about this. So as I said, I will glue him down. I might actually not bother about the um, tape. Um, sorry, the yeah, uh, the foam tape. I'll I'll have a think about this or whether I just use this again, because I'm sure that will stick him down quite nicely. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with this card. I think it makes a very nice autumn male birthday card as well. Um, because it's sometimes really difficult to create male cards. If you like this card too, you might want to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my cards, you might want to subscribe to my channel. I'd be really, really happy about that. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.